Hey everybody, it's Ty for Watford here today. Today I'm going to explain fully, and it will work guys, how you get PS1 games to play on your Wii. And trust me, this tutorial will work, because I've been watching tutorials on YouTube, and they really don't explain how the hell the ROM, they tell you just to download the ROM, but they don't tell you what, like you put it into the file and it doesn't work. I've had this problem for a week now, and I've actually found out how you do it, guys. But I'm be filling you the tutorial how to do it. So what you will need, you will need the homebrew channel. Most guys, you should know. Uh, that'll be the script, uh, description below. How you get that? will be a video. Um, you will need the homebrew browser on the homebrew channel, or the link will be in the description below to download the actual app you need. And the app you need is um, We SX. Uh, basically PS1 emulator for Wii and you need a computer, an SD card and all that stuff so you guys if you've got the homebrew channel and everything that basically all you have to do is get Wii XX go and download I'll show you um, if basically all you have to do if you go onto a uh, the homebrew browser basically just go click it, uh, load it up go to emulators and go down so you find Wii XX and just press download or if you don't have the homebrew browser, I'll be showing you through the computer how you get it. So guys, you want to insert an SD card into your computer. And so basically, what you want to do now, guys, you want to basically, to get to, um, to get this emulator, once you've got all the homebrew channel on that, we're skipping all that, we're just getting to how to get it on the homebrew channel. You want to type in Wii Brew Wii SX. And click on this link. So you click on it, come up a page like this and you want to go down and click download. So this is the alternative if you don't have the homebrew browser on your homebrew channel. And you basically download it, so you press download, then what you want to do, it will come to downloads, um, I don't know how I deleted it at the moment, but it should be in a zipped folder, so it should look like somewhere, I can't show you right now. But it should be in a zip folder. It should look like a folder with a little zip on it. And basically, all you're going to do, I'll show you actually. So basically, guys, you right click it, it should come up with a zip folder. You should it should say extract all or something here. Just press extract all. It's extract into a folder like this. I've just made these folders up just to show you. I haven't actually downloaded it. So basically, all you're going to do is you're going to click on the folder. And it should come up with apps, Wii XX, and README. So if you don't, you you should you should normally if you're a homebrew browser user. But anyway, if you go on your SD card, if you don't have an, uh, a folder already called apps, re, uh, make a new folder called apps exactly like this. And basically, what you want to do, if you already have apps, just open the app and copy, copy this folder. Just press copy and paste into this, into the, this folder. But if you don't have the apps folder, just basically just basically drag this folder to your SD card, to the root to your SD card. And next you want to move this um, WeXX folder under the apps folder. It should say README, but I haven't downloaded it, I'm just showing you. <coughs> and drag this to your, just, 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 just to the root to your SD card. So it looked like that. In your uh, folder, in your root to your SD card, it should say Forget about all this. Re make new free new folders, BIOS, iOS, and saves. <clears throat> and I'll be showing you what you need to do and put in here. So basically, now you've downloaded the ROM, so you've got the ROM. I mean, not the ROM, the emulator. Now you need to add ROMs. And this is what these YouTubers didn't describe or tell you properly how you add ROMs and stuff like that. So I'll be telling you right now. Get this perfect. So first, run your games. You'll need to download something in your um, in, put it in your BIOS folder. You should download something called this, and it'll be in the description below. The download is uh, be in the description below. So all you have to do is download it. So once you download that, I think you have to extract it. I'm not sure. I think you do extract it. I don't know. But all you have to do is put it in this BIOS folder and just put it there. Next, the ISOs is where you put your games. So. I'm, this is the last thing I'll do. I'm going to be telling you how to do it. Cause this is what YouTubers didn't descri uh, describe how you did it. I'm not saying like they're crap the videos. I'm just saying they didn't really explain enough, and some people can get confused, especially me. 
So you want to go to uh, the website be inscription below, call cool ROM or something like that. Be inscription. I'm not going to go on it. But basically, all you have to do is a. Uh, oh, I'll go on it. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to type in quickly. So once you get onto the page, it's called coolrom.com. You want to go to emulators. Oh, actually, no, ROMs. And you want to go down to Sony PlayStation. You want to go down to whatever game you want. Or you can choose by letter, or you can just type in the top games. Anything. Really doesn't matter. I'm just going to be doing this game. Crash Bandicoot. Team, whatever it is. I already have. I already have the original PS One, so I, don't, I, uh, I already have the PS One. So, but I love emulators to get more games. I don't have to pay for. You want to press download. You can just add. Press download here. It should download or come a little thing saying seconds left to download. And once you've done that, it should take like half an hour or something like that because it's a big file because it's PS One. It's like something like three hundred, three hundred megabytes, something like that. So once you do that, you should go to your downloads folder. Uh, downloads and somewhere it should uh, say like basically I don't have it at the moment basically it should say forget the word about this it should say your game then it will come up dot seven z obviously this is not a file forget about what this file could it forget about the bin it would say dot seven z. That does not work for the emulator for the uh, thing I'm showing you, and it doesn't work. And that's what YouTubers didn't say. So what you have to do now to get that to work, I, I think I deleted it all of mine, so I can't show you. And it takes ages to download. So basically, the thing, what there is, is that the file is like it's for some reason it's like. I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's like the file you need is just one specific bit in the folder and it can't open it. So you're going to have to use an, an application on your PC to able to get that. So I'll be putting it in the description below. Remember to read that. I sometimes get a better tutorial on the description. It's um, down, basically download, this is called WinRAR. You basically download it, I think maybe you extract it, you install it into your computer. I can't promise you if it gives you any viruses or not, but I didn't download them with dad, so that's why I kind of like did this tutorial today. So what you want to do, once you installed it on that, it should come up like this. Well, not on the exact like page, but basically it should look like this. So basically what you want to do is go back, really back, to, like go far to your back, and you want to click on your SD card. You want to go down to where, actually, wherever you, wherever you have this, uh, PS1, uh, uh, whatever game you called, and it's got 7Z at the end. You want to open it. I'm just, I've got it on my SD card at the moment, so. But it should be your downloads if you kept it, or your desktop, wherever you kept it. And basically, forget, yeah, again, forget about what the file's called. It should say 7Z. You basically want to click it, and you want to press Extract To, and just extract it all. And basically, what will happen? Example: If you don't got Dance Dance Revolution, um, it should basically turn it into a folder. Our answer is done. It turns it into a folder, and if you click into the folder, it has oh god go away. It will it will give you the folders bin file and a ku file, and that's what runs the emulator, so you can play your PS1 games on your Wii. On yeah, so that's all you need to know, guys. So if you had it on your downloads, basically just drag. Drag these both of these files because you can use both, and drag them. Oh God, drag them to your SD card. Drag them to Wii XX on the root of your SD card. Go to iOS, and basically just drag drag the folder into there, and that's it, guys. Pretty simple. And the saves is basically when you play games and stuff, you can actually save, so you can go back to it. And basically, just saves, you know. So there we go. I've already got to save. Got some. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution. So yeah, we are, guys. That's all we have to do. It's pretty simple. Sorry I haven't showed you in deep how to do it. Comment below. I can answer you as much as I can. I can't promise you. Yeah, girl, I'm not responsible for any damages, guys. I'm just a tutorial. So that's it, guys. So that's the little secret, the WinRR tool. 
That's what you need to get the correct files so your emulator works. And I mean your ROM works on your emulator on your Wii, on your home browser. So that's it guys. So I'll be showing you, once you've done that, this is what it should look like. Oh and remember, eject, eject the SD card safely. So you want to right click it, eject. So that's how you do it safely. So now guys you want to insert your SD card into your computer. Uh, not oh my god, in your Wii. So insert it into your Wii SD card, and now you want to. Sh you should have. Oh god. You should have the Wii XS, and you, all you have to do is press load. So it should look like this. But before you do anything, you need to go to the settings. So you should have all this file. It should look like this. You want to go to the settings first. General. You want to make sure this is what it looks like. So if you go onto it, this is exactly what it should look like. So you should have your select computer quite this thing. I don't know what it's called. You should have select BIOS SD. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you should do for that. And you just want to save to SD because you did put it on your SD card. Uh, next. Next, you want to make sure this is what it looks like. You can, uh, I think you can just what you want. You want to make sure that's on that, so that's correct. Keep this on default. I think you have these all off. I think that's your choice. Input. You want, you can change like the, you can change the controls and stuff and buttons on your control. This is compatible with everything, I think. GameCube. I'm getting a GameCube so I can play games properly. Make sure this is on analog. I don't know. I don't really care. Your choice. You can you can put a ROM on your Wii remote if you want. That's your choice. Save to SD and make sure it's default and blah blah blah. Your choice again. Yeah, this is your choice. You can basically. I don't know why this is on. You can just turn the audio off. It basically turns all the sound off. So you're playing a game with no sound. Your choice. You can't change that. And you can change. You can change like the sound. So when you play the PS. Well, the emulator, it's how loud it is. I don't know, so you can just adjust the sound again. Saves, you can go to saves. Oh, make sure it's SD card if you're on your SD card. Auto saves, that's your choice if you want to auto save it. And save status, where you want to save it to. So that's it, guys. Once you've done all that thing, you want to go to load ISO. Load from SD card because you're from your SD card. And obviously, it's, it it might come red because you put it as you've you've made a fault. So you want to actually click on the game you want. Uh, I'm going to do Dance Dance Revolution, and you should hopefully once you have the file, it should have the two ones you obviously extracted from the seven Z to the files you have now. Is the you want is the bin and coos the only ones that will work on this emulator. So I'm just going to do bin. You can do any of them. Read that's what I was meant to say on the computer, but it's just like to tell you what to do. So I'm just going to do the bin one. You press A, it should come up like this, whatever it is. Form okay, and then once you've done that, it should you can tell you it, it'll tell you what controls you I'm using the classic Wii controller. Now you just play the game. There's a long tutorial, I'm sorry about that. There you go, so there you go, it works, guys. PS1 emulator on your Wii. That's simple as easy. So simple. Again, if you don't have the homebrew browser and stuff, be in the link description below. So that's it, guys. Any comments? It's working from 2016. Any help in that? Just comment below. I'll reply. I'm probably active. Oh, God. As you can see, it's slightly faulty. Some bits of the emulator is faulty, but it's perfect really for me. Just download any get PS1 a game or what, and off I go. See you later guys, comment, subscribe, like this video, I'm not going to get many views, I know. So yeah, see you later. Give it your best.